Okay. Right, you talked a lot about how negative plays offensively for guys. Yeah, it's I mean, a, a lot of people just look at it and say, well, it's an offensive line issue. Have, what's the key area to, for improvement? Well, I mean, you, you know, there, there's a lot of combinations of things. Uh, factors that go into like okay so if you call a drop back pass on first down and 10 and you take a sack it, you know you can say okay well sometimes it's actually a rhythm pass so it's supposed to be you know action reaction check down run I mean there should not be any holding the ball so there's there's issues with that sometimes we've had breakdowns and protections sometimes we get beat one on one uh, and then you can go back and say well why did we call that so you got to call the things that are, you know, I think that's part of being adaptive to what you can do. You know, that's where I've, you know, I'm working with both, on both sides of the ball. I basically, that's my deal is I'm pushing both coordinators to continue to adapt to our guys and continue to do the things that we can do. And, um, you know, uh, I think that we're closer to being there. And, you know, we, we that's the big issue is, uh, you know, first and foremost is turnover ratio. We've got to get more takeaways on defense. And we're not getting takeaways. But we've got to get those. Uh, had one nice one in the last game. We calls fumble. We need more of those. Uh, we need to get more interceptions. We're not getting a lot of interceptions. Well, why is that? You know, how do you get interceptions? Well, you got to see the ball, get the ball, right? And so, um, you know, we're looking at all those things. And because we, we've traditionally have gotten a lot of takeaways. Uh, you probably look at the last five years combined, we'd be way up there in the top of the country and getting takeaways. So there is a method to all of it, uh, and it's finding the right balance. But the bottom line is winning football games. And the key to winning football games is win the turnover ratio and win and dominate negatives. So obviously, you know, just since since uh, Crump's been out, we you know, our sack totals has gone down a little bit in the last game, uh, uh, TFLs and those type things. And, and you have to look at, there's a combination of things you have to look at uh, but on the same hand, we're just, I mean, I think um, we, you've seen the potential that we can play at against Oregon. Uh, and uh, I think we are playing, I think our guys are at the best point we've been at in, in, in the season. And uh, you just got to go out and figure out a way to win. It's a single elimination tournament, basically the way it works, uh, you know, in the Pac-12. And uh, anybody can beat anybody. And, but the key, every weekend, if you just look at those two categories, look at turnover ratio and you look at negatives. Third one's explosives. But uh, th those are the those are the things. I mean, uh, uh, that you have to have, and, and it's one, then two, then three. So, um, uh, I think that we've gotten better uh, up front on the offensive line. I think we uh, I think we have guys that can can do what we're at, you know asking them to do. It's just you know you know make sure we eliminate the defects. That's the biggest thing you want to do. You want to eliminate the plays that people are not doing what you're what you're supposed to be doing on. And I think we're I think we're we've we've got a great uh, you know week and a half of practice so far, and uh, uh, this is the best team on our schedule. So uh, we know what we got to do. We got to go play our best game. That's what we tend on doing. Yeah, you know, I thought we ran we ran the ball better. I mean, uh, you know. Uh, uh, you know, I think the key is what 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 is it that we do? We're we're a you know we're a zone inside outside zone team gap scheme team, uh, and and the read zone RPOs and many of the things that you have when you're that type of game, uh, you know type of team, is uh, taking the throws. A lot of times, the vast majority of the time, we have run plays called and we're throwing and getting those spots out there for seven, eight, ten, fifteen yards, and those are sweeps as far as I'm concerned. So he's got to take what they give you. Uh, we've, we've got the capabilities. I mean, seven breaks it, he's going, he can go. And we just got to get got to get the ball. You know, that's the biggest thing is getting the ball to our guys. And we got a lot of guys. I mean, who do you want to get the ball to on offense? I mean, I can list five guys pretty quick. Uh, and, and the big thing is, is not having uh, those plays. Uh, you go back and look at, uh, you know, um, when, we, when we're successful offensively, if you look at it, a lot of times it's the beginning of the half, whether it be the first half or second half, it's when we got plays scripted. And so it's because we there's a lot of thought gone into what we're doing there. It's not just scheme. It's, just, it's getting the ball to your best guys. So, so um, I don't know. I think those things will come. Uh, uh, I think a, a lot of it is, is just uh, 
you know, continue to get better at what we're doing and being committed to it. I think that was the, the main thing uh, is being committed to run the football. And, and you got to call it, you know I mean? You know, and that's, that's, that's big. How do you feel the tight end group has performed as a whole? I think CJ, I think CJ's really stepping up. I think CJ's really playing, you know, and Tommy's very capable. Uh, we Both those guys need to play an important role in what we're doing. I think Nick Ralston, uh, it can play an important role to us in a three-back uh, uh, situation as well. But uh, you know, I think they've progressed well. I think CJ's really uh, got, got a very high ceiling. Uh, about 10 years ago, whatever was third and one, fourth and one, you, you would almost always see the quarterback team. Now you don't see that as much. I don't know. I think uh, I think you. I think I don't know. It might be just the games that you watched. I mean, I've seen quite a few of them on film this year. Well, Washington runs it. You know, uh, we haven't run a quarterback name. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we don't run quarterback sweeps. No. Uh, I don't know. I tell you what drives me crazy. What drives me crazy is fourth and a foot and getting a shotgun. That drives me crazy. You know, so, um, you know, uh, you know, I think it's people, people probably defend it pretty well, getting a, you know, solid up inside or whatever. But uh, I don't, I don't think that, uh, I think you'll, as you go down the stretch, you probably see, see more of that. I know Washington does a great job of running it. They do it on tempo play and do a pretty good job. I mean, fourth and a, fourth and a foot, man, it ought to be, it's what you ought to run. What I think. Unless you're playing in the conference championship game against Stanford on the one foot line, then you don't run it. Uh, I am a, you ask and ask our staff that there's probably no one, no one spends more time on that than what we do and what I have uh, studied uh, uh, how that, you know, the particular plays that those happen, you know, just like, you know, a lot of a lot of turnovers will occur on on perimeter pass plays, like on bubble plays. If you can get the receiver to cut back inside, uh, uh, you know, there's lots of you know, those are caused by collision. The main thing about turnovers is population. The more population you have around the football, the more turnovers you're going to get. Uh, the other part of it is in getting interceptions has a lot to do with uh, uh, with preparation and with scheme and and uh, and being able to. Uh, uh, you know, through through detailed preparation, those things happen as well. Uh, but uh, and then a lot of them happen through contact. Through you know, we call you know uh, you know putting putting attacking the football. And so, uh, um, if you are playing in the other team's backfield, that's why I've always been a component of, of what 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 we've uh, done here. Is you know we we were when you're getting TFLs and you're getting sacks, those are high high. Um, uh, volume plays for the ball coming out. And every time you hit the quarterback, you know, there's probably more fumbles from the quarterback position than any other fumble uh, if you study and you look at it. And then the next group that you try to attack are receivers. Receivers turn the ball over. Punt returners turn the ball over that don't normally. Running backs are the ones that work the hardest at taking care of the football, but there's things that you can do to getting them in traffic when they're falling forward. And they're falling forward. They'll lean forward with the ball, punching the ball out. So yeah, we study the heck out of it, and we spend a lot of time. We start practice off every day with ball security and takeaway, and uh, trying to emphasize that. That's the one thing at the end of every practice. I'll say how many takeaways we have today. We had 12 today on the defense. So so that, that that's something. It's just constantly emphasizing it uh, and being aware of it. Uh, it's part of it, but mo a lot of it has to do schematically what you do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you, you think about that, I mean, probably the guy on the offense that you can get the ball from the easiest is the quarterback because he's the most vulnerable in the pocket. Uh, and then when you're, when you're meshing, when you're handing the ball off and things like that, so that's why I like to attack and, and, and a big, huge, um, you know, uh, zone pressure, wave pressure team. Because uh, when you're getting TFLs, your turnovers are going to go up. When you're getting sacks, your turnovers are going to go up. That's, if you do a good job of containing the football on the perimeter, your turnovers are going to go up. So, uh, and then you know, the more you can get in third down and six plus, the more turnovers you should have. Elaborate a little bit on the decision making process that you made on the 
Yeah, yeah, we uh, we haven't moved him over. He's actually playing both sides of the ball. Uh, he reps some today uh, on offense. He'll rep a whole bunch more tomorrow on offense. Uh, uh, because of the injury to Joey Bryant and uh, our, our, you know, uh, lack of experience and, and uh, younger guys there, we're just taking a look at that. Are you looking to get Rennell Red more involved? Yes. I mean, I think that uh, I man is a good quarterback. I think he's got, you know, I wouldn't do that after every game. I would, you know, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, uh, you, you win or you lose. You know, that's the way it is. I mean, so, uh, uh, you know, we're in the process of evaluating that. So how's he doing right now? I got a lot of belief in him and faith in him. Uh, he's our quarterback. He's our guy. Uh, he's got a lot of courage. He's got a lot of heart. He's got to do what he's coached to, be disciplined about what he's doing. And, uh, uh We'll evaluate him in the next uh, seven to eight weeks. And it's real easy. Same way I'm evaluated. Wins and losses. Coach, what stuck out to you about John Humphrey? Was it speed and all the skills or what in particular? Well, yeah, he's he's the, you know, as we look around, you know, we're trying to find guys that have corner skills. He's a guy that has them. Uh, you know, 10 4, 10 whatever, you know, 100 meter guy. Uh, he's got big time speed. He's got great length uh, and, and his size. He's got good height. So, so, uh, you know, I wish I would have done it more in camp. I started to do it then. Obviously, we felt so good about where Joey was. We didn't, we didn't uh, think we'd be in that situation. But we got other guys over there, too. I mean, Armand, uh, Alex Perry um, uh, is, is a young guy. It's going to be a great corner. Uh, I think Cornet is a guy that can continue to get better. He's another guy that I think – and Mo is coming along. Mo has actually had uh, a good couple of weeks. So, uh, but I, we just – you know, to have a guy that has the, – the, he's probably – as fast as anybody on the field, and uh, uh, you know, in this league, it, to be successful, you're going to you got to have guys that can play man-to-man uh, -man at corner. So we're that's what we're looking at. Okay.